Welcome back to this second hour of Hereticus episode 8. Um, our sister of battle, Francesca, has... Um, well, so... She uh, she 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 locked eyes with uh, with one of the one of the street preachers who, upon seeing the sister of battle, uh, promptly um, removed himself from uh, where he was standing, and um, I rolled a willpower test for the poor man, and yeah. um, I I actually he's now, he's now actively wetting himself. Well, he he passed the the test, so um, hey, he's not wetting no, he, himself. No, he's cool. not wetting himself, and he's um, he manages to break eye contact and uh, move away from Sister Francesca. Um, uh, he's not rushing it. He's he's uh, moving at a pace. That's good. At, at a normal because pace. Because at that point, that point, Francesca says into her uh, into her uh, vox or in uh, the the, yep. the microbead uh, says, um, Akalon, you might want to try to cut off an individual walking away from me. Uh, he looks X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you basically give a, a good description of the uh, the preacher. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, he, he's 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 wearing rather nondescript robes, uh, grayish in color, um, and uh, but the th the, his distinguishing features are a uh, um, he he looks a, a bit like the quartermaster. In uh, he he it isn't the quartermaster, but he has the same kind of no, no. of ruined face, uh, indicating that he's been been in combat. Um, yes. Uh, possibly ex guardsman. Um, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And what do you do, Akalon? Uh, I still move to. I still move to uh, uh, try and cut him off to intercept okay. from another direction. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I'm assuming that the sister Francesca, you you continuously. Uh, oh yes, we, we're double teaming him. If he, you know, the, when he sees, uh, oh, I guess let's see. Oh, we have uh, a day of us. Yay! Okay, so you move to intercept Akalon, and you basically, um, um. You basically walk into the man, um, and he, when he sees who it is, he's he's almost stumble into. He, you see his eyes go wide, and he, he takes a few steps backward. Um, and can I put a hand on his shoulder? <laughs> A hand on his shoulder, and um, you just ask him quietly, "What made you turn away from the emperor's light?" No, no, it was actually more a sense. Uh, <laughs> it was more a case of um, he puts a hand on his shoulder with a, a totally innocent and not at all wry smile, and says, um, "Guilt for your thoughts, preacher." <laughs> oh, nice! I like. The the response you get because you do put a hand on his shoulder and Akalon does say what he what he just said, and the result you're getting is just um as as he looks terrified at the psyker and he knows who's standing behind him he's not even going to turn around to look, and that's when you smell the uh, the excrement and yes. the urine. Um and yes. yeah, you smell fear. Yeah, we smell yes. fear. So Francesca is just going to put a hand on his other shoulder <laughs> from behind and ask her a question: What made you turn from the emperor's light, citizen? I, I, 
Well, we are no longer looking at excrement. He is having a full-on heart attack and dying right then and there. <laughs> yeah. I can just imagine the sound of his heartbeat in his ears. Yeah. Yep. And to answer your question, AJ, they've they've intercepted one of the one of the street preachers. Um, I figured when yeah. they said what made you yeah. <laughs> uh, turn away from the emperor, yeah. and then uh, thought preacher. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's one yeah, of those. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, <laughs> oh, we're yeah, it is one oh. of those, yeah. And um he 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 mumbles something, he stutters. He he's trying his best to make <laughs> to give you a coherent response, but uh, he's just he's now, now citizen admit to your sins. The I, I, they, they made me do it. Excellent. That is a good start. It, it is. Now, it's a good start. You admitted that somebody has made you do this. Now we need to find out who and where. The, 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 uh, bishop. The bishop. Yes, he made, he I'm made us do it. I'm very pleased to hear you say that. That does confirm a serious, um, a serious uh, suspicion that I had. Now, by all means, Akalon, let us escort this man uh, away from here to a place where we can have a serious conversation with him. I suggest the tricorn. <laughs> the, the man faints. <laughs> he just yes, that's fine. He, I carry him. <laughs> <laughs> he crumbles to the to the ground. He's yeah. Uh, at the mention of the tricon, he knows uh, he knows what's up. He knows his his goose is seriously yes. cooked, even though he probably doesn't have an idea what a goose he is. He doesn't, but yeah, it's cooked. <laughs> it's very he cooked. He cooked his goose. <laughs> All the giblets everywhere. Yes, I think. I think. I think he spilled his guts yeah. too. I, I just want to point out, I think this was an excellent double team example <laughs> of of an intimidate role without a role. Yes. I Yeah, <laughs> this is this is where Tim shouldn't have been teamed up with a clutch, couldn't find her own feet. <laughs> um, well, the th yeah, the, th the thing is before you go uh, before you continue, Chris. Yeah. The thing is, and I mentioned this during session zero, is that we only roll when there's when there's any doubt yeah, of, of the outcome, of and there's absolutely no doubt uh, in this case. <laughs> whatsoever, he is overmatched yes. in the extreme. Yes. Oh mm. man. So, uh, what did you want to say, Chris? It pleases me that the enemies of the Lord Emperor can only find recruits among the weak willed. <laughs> I'm not sure that they can only find recruits there, but uh, let us see if we can't. You know that there are there are people in the Tricorn exceptionally skilled at getting information out of people that people don't even know they had. In the meantime, we must be cautious how we get back there between potentially the Arbiters getting pissy and between any unseen threats I suggest we keep an eye and absolutely oh I, I totally agree with that but uh, I think we should uh, out of character we should remember that we were told last time by the Inquisitor that she had settled things with the Arbitates and we wouldn't be bothered by them anymore she said that but well, the, Arbitates, the Arbitates are they might not have gotten the memo not all of them uh, well, <laughs> right, say, right. and, any, and any that didn't get the memo can be written off as um, rogue elements anyway. So, mm -hmm. so yes, either this, way, yes. This particular heretic is going back to the tricorn. Mm -hmm. uh, poor man, poor man. Yes, very much so. But he needs to go there. He's. He, we we are only taking him there to dump him off. Uh, and then, and then because it. and then get right back to it. But he needs to be dumped off in a cell where he can stew for a little while. Sure. Um, is anyone watching? Is anyone among the? Is there a crowd around us as we're you know hauling this unconscious? No. Man? Everyone is looking down on the, uh, at the ground as they walk past you. That's oh, good. Yeah. 
That's good. Otherwise, we'd have to have let we had to have told them to. Do that. That's, <laughs> that's good. It's good that they know their place. Yes, and the few who aren't do so as soon as your your gaze turns upon them. Um, it's a case of if if, <laughs> if anyone if if Aklon catches them, if anyone they're too afraid to look down quickly, that he'll basically say. Inquisitorial, inquisitorial duties. Go back to your business. <laughs> carry on, citizens. Carry on. Yes, you know, just as silkily as possible. Yes. Oh yes. Okay, so you <laughs> all the silk. All the silk. All you the move silk. back toward the uh, the tricon. That'll take a while, of course. Uh, there's oh, there's a long way back. Um, oh. I was the others again for a while, I guess. Yes. Yes. I'm I'm going Absolutely. to start making sacrifices to Nuffle that they may get better roles this time around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. Um okay. So if I take all the bad roles you can have the good roles. <laughs> Tim and Medea. You um I'm one of those people. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, I'm the sulking one. So, uh, the sulking one went to find another street preacher. And yeah, probably not the one they just logged off with. No, not the one. Not that you know this, but yeah, um, you wouldn't be able to find him because you know he's being carried by the uh, the sister of battle through the streets of of Scintilla. That says clonk, clonk, clonk <laughs> yeah. when she's walking. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you, went, you you go to find another street preacher. Meanwhile, Tim, you, you're following, you're shadowing the uh, um, the street preacher who who left, who uh, who wasn't fooled by Medea, as, as I remember it, at least. Yeah, he left because uh, he suddenly seemed nervous. Intense. Yeah. Uh, he seemed to catch on to something about Medea and and left. And yep. she, Medea is so sure it's just like her disgust was showing on the outside. In reality, she was hungry and she looked hungrily. So while she she thought she was looking interested, he saw she's going to eat yeah. me and left. <laughs> I love it, uh, <laughs> um, Tim. Your shadowing role was that the uh, the minus uh, half a degree. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, and I need to roll a awareness test for the dude to see if he spots you, and that's where the the opposed thing uh, enters. So, yeah, his awareness isn't that good so he doesn't spot you um yes. he 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 looks he looks back occasionally um somewhat paranoid that someone is following him but he doesn't spot you and do you continue to follow him um uh, f how long do you continue to follow him i should i should ask is well, does he go anyway? Interesting. Well, the uh, the sector is is a large place, so it it might take a while for him to reach this interesting place. If well, Tim is is a very patient man. Okay, and Tim does know that eventually he'll 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 reach a point where he's no longer uh, within the the one kilometer uh, limit of of the uh, the microbeats, so he won't be able to contact any of the others. I think then, when he has an idea that, okay, probably soon I'll be out of range, he will announce that. Okay, and then continue to follow him. Yes. Okay. It's like leaving optimal sound range, or sure. whatever it's sure. called. Okay. Um, th there's no indicator that, there's nothing to indicate that you're now uh, reaching the limit, but... No, I figured it was on pure intuition. Yep. Like, I should probably call it yes. soon. Okay, cool. And, Medea, you, you hear this in your microbeat. Uh, Tim saying that he'll be out of reach soon. And, um, so, Medea, you, you, f you, you find another street preacher. They're not difficult to find. Um... First off, when I hear that, she asks, what's your current location? Because if something shit happens and we can't find him, that's a good place to start. 
Makes sense. Um, Tim doesn't stop because he's still shadowing mm. the man, but it does give her a, a very brief uh, description of the place with any notable markers. Okay. So mm. I, I imagine that all major thoroughfares and most minor thoroughfares or side roads and, and so on, uh, side streets, do have uh, indicators, numbers maybe, or, or some kind of code that indicate which street it is. And you can absolutely give those to, to Medea. Um, no problem. In that case, yes. Okay. I'm at the crossing of heresy and tech. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there is such a thing as tech heresy. There is such a thing as, as tech heresy, but no, that's not the name of it. Um, no, heretic. And <laughs> well, yes, but heretic is exactly the name for tech heresy. Yes. All right. And Never mind then. So you you do find one of these these three preachers. Um, and the, the way you uh, you identify him is basically he's he at some point you 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 go from from preacher to preacher because there are many of them and not all of hmm. them are are heretical but you do uh, recognize the term tower of bone um that one of them mentioned. I think that's all she's actually going on because I'm pretty sure she hasn't memorized the entire no. That love thy thingy, thingy, thingy <laughs> that because you love thy thingy thingy. Yep. She's just like, well, yes. ooh, ooh, something with bones yeah. there. You've heard that before, at least. And then she comes closer, then, and then the bones of the yep. blah 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 will heal us. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, so you do find one one that's uh, skirting the edges of heresy. That's just cool. All right. Thing. Well, then we'll stop and listen for a while, okay. just to make sure. Okay. Well, it, it stay a while. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it's you, you're pretty sure that this is one of them. Um, yeah. Well, let's, let's either seem interested or hungry. Let's find out which one it is this time. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you still hungry. Hungry it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she stands there for a while and then, brrr, oh fuck, that's what's wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he's not even he's. I should. Uh, I uh, okay. <laughs> I should find food before I eat one of them. Um, that way. <laughs> I my get my guess is that. Um, Medea, or rather uh, Aya, should probably, for the rest of the evening, stick to doing things in which there is no doubt of the outcome. <laughs> but the sad part is, I have to roll under 61. And I, I know, but clearly... And today. I roll 92 and 96 and 62 and... <laughs> <laughs> clearly, today, just not, you know, yeah. cooperate. Yeah, it's it's not going Medea's way today. Um, nope. Okay, so the... <laughs> Wait. Yes? It's deception, isn't it? Uh, deceive, yeah. Uh, well, I can see if I actually inquire, I have extra plus ten. Yeah, but th that that requires you actually inquiring that, about it, uh, asking around. Yeah, right now I'm just you know waiting for a moment where I can come to such time where I can inquire about it, and I'm apparently too hungry. <laughs> yeah, you kind of need to get. So the 92, she's almost salivating. Is that <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. You, you kind of need to get past <laughs> the deceit first, yeah. 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 She. It's just like. Uh, why am I imagining him in a... I shouldn't imagine him like a roast. Um, <laughs> with a, you know, roast, roast with a spit all the way up his backside and an apple in his mouth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is bad. I should find something to eat. Be right back to you. <laughs> okay. So, so does Medea actually go f to find something to eat? Yeah, this this is strange. She should eat something, otherwise she'll just look like she's gonna eat, eat all of them, and that's fine. Okay, so it, it's. Uh, I imagine the first couple of seconds is okay, and then she re the, then she intuitively goes, "I'm hungry." Yeah. After a couple of <laughs> minutes of focusing, and then it's just. Yeah. Okay, um, so 
Um, so basically, what happens? It's 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 easy in this sector to find a a food vendor. Most of them are, are street vendors. They're just sitting there on the uh, the side of the road with a carpet upon which are placed various foodstuffs. No problem at all. Um, it's. Y- don't ask what the. I, I was. Just, I was going to say pretty much the exact same thing. D- don't ask. Um, you don't want to know what it is. Well, yeah, maybe Medea is, doesn't I really care, but uh, yeah, most people. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the first thing she does when thinking about food is just like looking at people walking around and then stopping herself because Francesca will beat you up if she finds you eating a person. <laughs> you should find something else. Well, Francesca isn't here. That is true, but she's pretty sure it'll be noticed. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, cool. With all the avatars around. That's true. It'll be noticed. That's true. Uh, okay. So she goes to look for a vendor. Okay, well, like I said, it, it's it's easy enough to find a vendor, and getting getting buying some food is, is no big deal. Um, it's okay. some kind of grey gel jello acti ish thing um and there there are bits of something inside it doesn't look particularly appetizing but um nourishing maybe doesn't have so to in reality taste good. So in reality, what you're telling me is eating people is more appetizing than actually eating this. I I can't really comment on the eating people part, but this doesn't. Well, look if good. you imagine this goo you just yes. described, and then a hunk of meat. <laughs> That's, I I can't argue with that logic. Is this what if, they've been eating at the Tricon? No, too? no, no. Uh, the quality of food at the Tricon is. While probably not the uh, the uh, uh, four star gourmet dinner thing, it's definitely better than this. All right, she looks at the goo after paying for it because again, Francesca would kill her if she mm. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> if I recall uh, correctly, people are white meat. <laughs> hmm. Imagine a chicken breast. <laughs> The internet teaches me these things. Ah, the internet. Yeah. You could also just watch The Green Butchers. Yeah, you could. A Danish movie. Yep. Where it's told that they taste like... Gaita. Yep. You're still muted. This is horribly <laughs> wrong! <laughs> and so, Medea, does she eat this grey jello thing? She Person. Try. Okay. Well, it, it, it's, it's better having a full stomach than looking hungrily at the fish. Yes, it because they don't like it. It tastes absolutely ho- awful, uh, but it <laughs> and the street vendor, assuming she's, she's uh, the street vendor, assuming she's she's still nearby, just shrugs and continues hawking his wares. Um, if. I'm pretty sure she's eaten worse, so she won't be going. Bleh. It's just me thinking about eating this uh. yellow thing that's going. <laughs> 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 okay, and then what does she do once she's uh, she's finished eating this thing? She's gonna look for another priest to see if it goes better now. <laughs> okay, so at this point, um, <laughs> so, um, so, uh. Stuff has happened elsewhere in the sector, um, and word of mouth is a thing. So Medea picks up on the news that a a, a woman in power armor, uh, basically Sister Francesca, although no one uses that term, nor even uh, Sister of Battle, but uh, why would they? Know yeah, exactly. What her name is in the first uh, place, or what right? she is? Ma- many of them don't know what she is. Some do, but... Um, no, they just saw something in yes. the power of And uh, basically, this person grabbed a, a worker or uh, a preacher off the streets and uh, walked off with him. Um, so Medea now knows what, what happened, or a, a version of it. Um, 
Um, See, it's like about them being curious. I, what did you say, Joan? I said I like the fact that um, that the, the the news is that Medea took, or sorry, that Francesca took him off the street. When strictly speaking, the person who apprehended him. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. Him. About the, yeah, but it's. It, but it was the lady in power yep. armor locking him around. Yep. I think that the lady in power yep. armor is probably slightly more intimidating. Yes. No <laughs> respect for the psyker. Right? No. Respect. No. no respect for the psyker. Um, so yeah, Medea now knows what, the, some version uh, of what happened. Um, and this also... This is clearly a moment, this is clearly a moment of... Fear the mutant, the psyche, the heritage. Yes. <laughs> this also means that Medea is not able to find any more street preachers. Oh, they've gone away, have they? They've gone away. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, then I'll have to ask around. Okay, and you could try to find where Tim went. That's <laughs> Not necessarily. That depends on how much trouble he's getting into. Yeah. Uh, Knowing else, Tim, probably uh, nothing. Nothing interesting. At least not to Medea. She was going to find out stuff about this, not, you know, run off with a <laughs> creature. What's the words of a creature, man? So, so yeah, but with the dice today, I should probably just stop because I'll end up as a hundred now <laughs> instead. I mean, well, the thing is, we won't know unless we try it, sure. and it's she's gonna. Well, now there's no preachers, so there's no obvious people nope. around, but she can ask the per people she hears about talking about this preacher. If they're, you know, sad he was taken away, and maybe they can give her some of point. the information she's needing. That, oh, she was listening to him earlier, and that's just too sad. You know, if she finds someone who is actually sure. favorable towards the poor creature. Sure. That's, that's, um, okay, so, inqu inqu blah, 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 words. inquiry. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though with indeed. the rolls I've had today, well, an extra ten doesn't really help anything. No. Jesus you Christ on a good <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, this is this is. This I'm is rolling a... under seventy-one now, and what? I'm rolling on ninety. <sighs> it, it, does not compute, nope. <laughs> does not compute, does I not compute. I haven't made any success tonight. Nope. The ones that was closest was the 62, but I had to roll 61 or below. Yes. <laughs> is this it is madness, that's it's... that's a fitting term. Yeah. No, this is hereticus. <laughs> <laughs> oh! uh, now kick the heretic off. Needless to say, um, you you don't have any luck finding someone who can spill the beans. I would say that the idea was really <laughs> yes. good, though. I, uh, it absolutely <laughs> was. It's just hard to argue with that kind of dice roll. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, Medea does spend some time walking around. I'm not re-rolling, because that I'll just no. roll hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, she does spend some time in the sector, uh, oh. walking through these uh, the the narrow side streets and asking around. Uh, unfortunately, with no results. Meanwhile, Tim, you yes. follow this man. You follow the street preacher, and um, I'm going to have to ask you to give me two awareness tests. Because it's a crowded streets, and as good as you are, it, it is possible to lose a man. Makes sense. And the, uh, and the upside, I've spent all the bad Yes. Money. You really shouldn't ah. worry about failing. I 
I think. On the upside, I have actually unlocked awareness. Ooh, cool. So uh, it was two you want? Yes. Yeah. I think I want to <laughs> reroll that one. <laughs> oh my god! I'm this sorry. Is, this, is, this is balancing on the verge of the ridiculous <laughs> I'm gonna hear my thing. A success! The first success today! Holy shit! We can hear if I conclude I've turned into Pukwampi and I'm not immune to myself. Oh. Let's see if I can succeed the second this one! This is my game, so you're not turning into a Pogwambi. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll use fun. my last fate point to reroll that And one we're now. back. Zinch uh. is laughing <laughs> at every one of us. Yes! <laughs> okay. At least his rerolls is making it better, yep. not worse. <laughs> okay, so you move through the streets That's following this, uh, this, this street preacher, and I... <laughs> I have to say, this is, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely yes. ridiculous. <laughs> My roles were, have been awesome, and, and your roles have just been bonkers. Well, we all have evenings like we that. Do. You know, in we some do. time in the future, you're going to have an evening yes. where everything goes yes. wrong. Preferably when, when Tim gets into trouble. Yes. <laughs> but why is it mostly Medea having even evenings like that? I remember once I had to roll the fucking tech yeah. roll almost ten times <laughs> to get a marginal success. Yeah, I remember that. That was, the, yeah, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> Madame. I'm pretty sure what? we in character stood there for five minutes while she was swearing and cursing at the fucking yes. monitor. Well, that's because Medea is not good friends, or rather Medea's player is not good friends with the great god Nuffle. Nope. No, she just doesn't like role playing. <laughs> anyway. And the feeling is mutual. Yep. Um so, Tim, you you manage to to keep up with the, the street preacher and you don't um, lose him in the crowd. So, that's a win. Um, you said, by the way. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Miraculously, I don't lose. Yes. Him. And at some point, he you he's moving through. It's it's not one of the the biggest uh, streets or boulevards in the sector, but it's it's a fairly decent street. It's 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 wide enough that. Um, that cargo carts can can move uh, move through it, and um, eventually the the road uh, stops, and he moves uh, into <laughs> into an alley between uh, two two large buildings. Uh, they look like uh, storage facilities. Um, if if uh, if Tim was was to guess, um, but he moves into this alleyway. And um, as he reaches the end of the alleyway, um, he apparently um, descends down a ladder. Uh, you can see him grabbing the uh, uh, the sides of the ladder and, and start uh, moving down it. And yes, he's if do you do, does Tim move to the edge of of the alley? Um, where the ladder is. I think Tim would give him enough time to get down the ladder, okay. so it's not like, oh, I happen to look up while climbing down. Sure. Look who's looking at sure. me. Sure, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I think Tim has been shadowing people yeah. before. I I reckon he has. Okay, so he gives it some time before he he. Well, perhaps he mostly, yeah. But. Uh, so he gives it some time before he he moves up to the edge of the of the. Uh, uh, the alley, and he's basically looking uh, out over a, another section of the hive. This one, a uh, hundred or so meters below the one he's currently in, and that's that's basically uh, the reason for the drop, um, um, or the ladder that this man, uh, this preacher has has descended, and. Um, Apparently, the ladder leads uh, down to a building directly below, and uh, Tim uh, just about spots the the man as he he um, he uh, he moves through uh, moves through a, a trapdoor in 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 the roof of the building, 
and into the building itself and of course closes the trap door after him um, okay do I know if there's a way to get a hold of the others from a longer distance well um, not uh, unless you're a person with clearances um, Am I, as an inquisitorial agent, a person with clearances? Yes, as, as long as you can clearly identify as an inquisitorial agent. Did I get a badge? They don't get a badge as such. Well, I guess you could <coughs> you could call it that. You do get a... You can get what's called an inquisitorial role yes. better, but usually that's not until you move up in the ranks no. somewhat. Um, the 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 reason why Francesca has been able to do something like that is because the the sisters of battle are universally uh, aligned with um, with the in Inquisition, and consequently, it's normal for them to walk around yes. with an, an inquisitorial eye um, hanging from their their um, well their belts really yes. or the Chatelet Ecclesiasticus. Exactly. Well, in that case, this will be a strictly scouting mission as I follow the man very, very quietly, hoping that I won't get into an ambush, and if I do, I'll have to flee. Okay. Okay, cool. Tim takes note of his surroundings so he can recognize this area again before he goes in. Sure. So does Tim also descend the ladder, uh, the ladder uh, down to the roof? Um he does, and probably uh, rather swiftly, uh, because by now the man has had time to go further. Mm. Okay. Okay, cool. So he reaches the uh, the roof of the building the man um, went into. Um, and there's there's also the, the trapdoor that the man used to enter the building. Um, yes. And it, sh it should be mentioned that this building is squeezed in be between two larger buildings. And so Tim does have cover of those have have the cover that those two buildings uh give him uh when it comes to being spotted. Um That is yes. nice. So does Tim uh enter the building through the trapdoor or does he have another plan? Are there any other entrances? Well might be a good question. Um uh, if if Tim does head toward the, the edge of the roof and um, assuming he does that, he can absolutely see that there's basically a front entrance to the building, and he can also see that the building is is run down. It's it's uh, it's definitely seen better days. It has in in a huge neon sign that says uh, "Screaming Wheel." Um, I'll just type that in chat in case you need it. Um. And there are people walking into the building and out of the b out of the building. They don't notice Tim up on the roof. Uh, it's it's a three-story building, so it's not. Um, and it's it's uh, it's perpetually dark here in this this area of the hive. Um, uh, there are s lamps, um, but not right where Tim is. Um, so there's no light here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going in the front door. You're not going in the front door. Uh, okay. Purely out of character, mm -hmm. of course. Why can't they just once in a blue moon be accommodating enough to have a big neon sign, not saying screaming wheel, but saying something along the lines of the most heretical church of the uh, corpse <laughs> yeah. emperor or something on the front door, you know, just... Just to make it easy for I, us, I know, you know? I, I know. I know. I I asked them. They 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 didn't. Nope. They they said they wouldn't. Uh, so yeah, ah. yeah. I know. Um. Uncool. <laughs> <laughs> the League of Heretical Men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. But I guess it's because they weren't dumb enough. Okay. So so Tim actually enters through the trap door. He does. Very, very quiet. Yes. Okay. So, as soon as he opens, he hears the uh, the sound of pumping music. Think hardcore techno-ish music. Um, coming up from the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, 
but way more bombastic than that. Um, I see. And there's <laughs> there's he he's also met by the uh, the the quite thick stench of of low sticks of. Uh, basically, the uh, the dark millennium equivalent of of cigarettes, um, uh, of sweats, and l- a bunch of other more or less unpleasant uh, odors. Um, ah, a shame he didn't bring his rave gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, and as he. He opens the trap door and moves into the uh, the room below. Um, he notices that it's it's a a, a small tenement, really, uh, a small, really small apartment, three meters by three meters or thereabouts. Wow. Is how loud is the music? Uh, up here, because Tim is on the third floor of the building, it's it's not loud at all. He can hear the. Uh, well, he, it it's more like he can feel the bass really, than than he can actually hear it. Um, okay, I ask because if it's very loud, he would probably see if he could find something to protect his ears in case he needs to be able to listen once he's on the other side of the music. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, up here it, it's not it's not that that loud. Is there anything I can can find to put in my ears? Yes, yes, you can, you can, yeah, there is. Uh, I'll keep that on the ready then, in case it's very okay, loud. Okay, so I imagine you you tear a few small strips off of some icky bed linen or something like that, and use that as. Yes. And then what? Then it's time to descend into the madness. Okay, so Tim moves out into the hallway and apparently this uh at least this floor is basically uh, just small uh apartments um uh it's dirty it's nasty it's littered with garbage and other more unsavory stuff and as he moves down to the uh, the second floor, it's it's more of the same, really. It's um, filthy, and filthy and dirty, and there, th- remarkably, there are, there are no people here uh, that um, uh, that Tim can see. Uh, and now the music is getting. Uh, you, you, he can definitely hear the music. Um, and he can also hear voices laughing uh, from from coming from downstairs. Let's have a look. See if we can, I don't know, peek through a keyhole or something. Okay. You absolutely can. Um, and I- as it happens, the uh, the door you're you're looking through, where you're looking through the keyhole is basically uh, it leads to a staircase that leads down to the uh, the first floor, and. It provides an excellent view of of uh, of w- what's what's down there, and what's down there is a dimly lit uh, bar of sorts, or a cantina, or you know, a place where people come to 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 drink and a watering hole. Yeah, and and forget their their woes, and it's it's filled with uh, with workers and. Uh, various near do wells. You, you, Tim easily spots the first ten gangers, uh, people clearly bear, bearing uh, bearing weapons, and um, um. The question then is, what of the priest? And that is indeed a good question. Um, Tim spots the preacher. He's he's standing at the far end of. Uh, at least as as Tim can see it at the far end of the room, in front of three individuals. Uh, these three are gangers. And um, Tim uh, sees them wearing, uh, these three gangers wearing uh, cheer-ups masks. Um, uh, or 
I don't know if you know what a cherub is, but um, as in the fat yes, baby angels. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> the fat baby. The, the, the fat baby angels uh, in the Imperium. Dead babies may, in fact, or dead fetuses may, in fact, be turned into undead robotic yes. cherub flitter, uh, cherubs flittering around as mobile computers yes. and and as and as uh, pleasant little companions for high-ranking priests. Yes. Oh, how I'm delightful! Not, I'm not even joking. It is that vile. And the thing is. <laughs> That one of them, the the, the they're they're sitting uh, next to each other. Uh, these three cherub cherub faced gangers. One of them actually has what appears to be a cherub hovering over him, above him. Yeah. It's but those those things are really high class. Yes. You don't. Ha they really are. Th that's that's something you see amongst nobility. Yes. That's something Tim would know. Um, would he though? Does does Tim have any common laws? Uh, I would I would argue here, mm -hmm. Heine, he might be getting a bonus regardless, seeing as these things are created by the Adeptus Mechanicus and where he lived his that's life true. before coming that's here. True. That's true. That's true. Um, as a he has no common laws. He has no common laws. Well, still, it's it's a very good point. So, um, uh, give me an that would be intelligence, I think. Intelligence tests, and you get a plus ten bonus for it because that it's it's an excellent point. Uh, this really goes back to Tim's background. Okay, let's all cross our fingers. Slice. So Tim absolutely knows what that thing is, and he also knows that uh, it's not something you can just buy on a street corner. It's hella expensive, and there there's probably going to be a few tech priests having issues with this thing being in this room. I think he will do his best to uh, remember the faces of the pr preacher and the people he with. Mm -hmm. He's with, especially the guy who has the cherub. Sure. Also, if if the cherub itself has any defining features. No, it 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 doesn't. This well, it's it's worn. It's 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 uh, it's damaged. It's old. It's um, it's definitely seen better days. And that in itself might be an indicator of something. And then, with the name of the place in mind, I think he will get out of there and go back to find the others if he can, because he wants back up if he's going to investigate this further, and he definitely found something that's interesting. Okay. Ah, just, just you know. Bring bring Francesca next time and have her kick in. The <laughs> um, okay. So Everybody start talking. <laughs> <laughs> so the th hello. The th <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the thing is, as Tim uh, turns around to start moving back up uh, to the ladder leading up to the to the uh, the sector he came from, he hears a gunshot wound. Uh, not a wound, but a gunshot. From the room. From, from the room the he just uh, he just uh, looked into. Oh, I guess we're going to have to look. <laughs> okay. S I guess I can guess what has just happened. We're going to have to find a new preacher. So the th <laughs> so basically what happened, or Tim can guess at least, is that the man with the cherub uh, hovering above him pulled a weapon because he's still holding it and laughing uh, as if this is just. Hilarious, uh, but the preacher is lying on the floor, cl uh, uh, his his hands trying to cover the uh, the kneecap that's no no longer there. Uh, it's been blown off. Ouch. One of the others, one of the other uh, cherub cherub faced gangers, uh, draws a knife, and the man pleads hysterically for his life. 
and this this person just just shushes him so shh so there there it's it's going to be fine meaning all the while she's she's pushing her knife into the man's throat and the others just they laugh hysterically it's it's all a hoot to them i think it's because i imagine there is such a thing that tim silently recites something uh, imperial akin to you reap what you sow yep and what what there there is in fact such a thing yes. Uh, I don't know if it applies completely, but there is the the, uh, Im the the saying often used by civilian agents. Incidentally, justice comes out of the barrel of a gun. <laughs> yeah, I, this might be yeah in a way uh, fitting here. Um, and the, what what Tim also notices is that all the the other patrons in in this cantina just they they hardly even look at what's happening. They just uh, uh, worry about their Amasek and the low sticks they're smoking and just go about their business, really. Um, nah. Oh dear, oh dear. So, what does Tim right. do? Well, um, I think he'll observe the situation a little longer to see if anything interesting happens. Okay. Uh, not really. Um, eventually, the uh, the um, one the 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 uh, cherub-faced ganger who plunged the, her dagger into the man's throat yells to the bartender to clean up the mess, uh, and they they go back to to laughing at whatever it is they're they're they f they they they're talking about. Something's obviously that fun. might be a good uh, might be a good time to to leave that. Okay. Okay, and where does Tim leave? Uh, where where does he go to then? I I imagine he, he well he goes back the same way he came okay. in. Okay. Uh, and 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 then he's going back to the tricon. Okay, so he he or wherever they agreed to meet up. Uh, that that's a good question, really. Where where did you uh, agree to meet up? Uh, back at the I would say back at the uh, where we. Get uh, get off the uh, what is it called um, the, the transport to this sector. Okay. Okay. So to to the uh, to the the Mac rail station that can that can. Precisely. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. Cool. That's cool. 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 Um, meanwhile, we're just midday. Um, uh, hmm? A break time. Yes, maybe? that's an excellent point. Break time. Shit, we're going by. We're really. Blowing through the hours today. <laughs> yep. yep. And uh, yeah, so we'll be right back with the third and final hour of Hereticus. Uh, so stick around. <laughs> 